SwiftUI makes it really easy to create custom UI components because they're effectively just views that have some sort of at binding exposed for us to read. To demonstrate this, we're going to build a star rating view that lets the user enter scores between one and five by tapping images. Although we could just make this view simple enough to work for our exact use case, it's often better to add some flexibility where appropriate so it can be used elsewhere too. Here, that means we're going to make six customizable properties. What label should we place for the string, with the default value being an empty string? The maximum integer rating, default value of five. The off and on images, which dictate the images to use when the star is highlighted or not, with the default value being nil for the off image and a filled star for the on image. But if we find nil in the off image, we'll use the on image there too. And finally, the off and on colors, which dictate the colors to use when the star is highlighted or not with default values being gray for off and yellow for on. We also need one extra property to store an at binding integer so we can report back the user selection to whatever is using the star rating. So create a new Swift UI view called rating view and start by giving it these properties. At binding var rating int var label equals empty string var maximum rating equals five var off image will be an optional image, var on image is an image with system name being star.fill. And finally, var off color equals color.gray, var on color equals color.yellow. Before we fill in the body property, please try building the code. You should find that it fails because our rating view preview struct doesn't pass in a binding to use for rating. SwiftUI has a specific and simple solution for this called constant bindings. These are bindings that have fixed values, which on the one hand means they can't be changed in the UI, but it also means we can create them trivially. They're perfect for previews. So replace the existing previews property with this. Rating view, rating dot constant for. Now let's turn to the body property. This is going to be a hstack containing any label that was provided, plus as many stars as have been requested. Although of course, they can choose any image they want, so it might not be a star at all. The logic for choosing which image to show is pretty simple, but it's perfect for carving off into its own method to reduce the complexity of our code. The logic is this. If the number that was passed in is greater than the current rating, return the off image if it was set, otherwise return the on image. If the number that was passed in is equal to or less than the current rating, return the on image. We can encapsulate that in a single method. So add this to rating view now. Func image for number int returns image. If number is greater than rating, return off image, nil coalescing on image. Else return on image. And now implementing the body property is surprisingly easy. If the label has any text, use it. Then use for each to count from one to the maximum rating plus one and call image for repeatedly. We'll also apply a foreground color depending on the rating and add a tap gesture that adjusts the rating. So replace your existing body property with this. HDAC if label dot is empty is equal to false text label for each one up to maximum rating plus one, number in, self.image for number, dot foreground color, if the number is greater than rating, then use off color, otherwise on color. And for the on tap gesture, we'll say self.rating is equal to number. That completes our rating view already. So to put it into action, go back to add book view and replace the picker in the second section with this, rating view, rating, dollar rating. That's all it takes. Our default values are sensible, so it looks great out of the box. And the result is much nicer to use. There's no need to tap into a detail view with the picker here, because star ratings are more natural and more common.